Now we've got another VirtualBox vulnerability. So VirtualBox again is an open source hypervisor by Oracle. And this vulnerability is in a completely different attack surface than the other vulnerability. So VirtualBox has a shared memory, memory mapped IO interface, which delivers commands for video hardware acceleration. And that interface is hard coded inside of the guest VM in the kernel at memory address E and seven zeros. So it would look like this. You've got your typical host kernel user space separation. You've got the VirtualBox application that most people think of when they interact with it. There's the VirtualBox kernel driver, which helps the application isolate the virtual machine. And then inside the virtual machine, there would be the operating systems kernel. And then there would be a VirtualBox specific kernel driver inside of the guest VM that knows how to interact with this E and seven zeros memory mapped IO interface. So I'm not showing the kernel driver here. There would be one. I'm just gonna focus on the interface for now. So again, we have this you know, separation that should be here and you've got the memory mapped interface communicating through to the video hardware acceleration command handler inside the user space application over on the host. So that is an attack surface and therefore what crosses it is ACID. So as usual, it is the attacker's goal to escape the virtual machine and break out. So if there were an application that was running inside the VM that would then send some acid in, break into the kernel, take over the kernel, utilize the memory mapped IO interface and send acid to the application and then boom, compromise the application, get code execution in the host in user space and they have successfully escaped the VM. So this particular vulnerability has to do with this interface, which is completely different than the other vulnerability. Now we've got a big chunk of code here. Even the shortened version is order of magnitude 500 lines of code. So again, as before, use the shortened version as a hint if you get lost in the code. There's hints on the website. But basically, you're going to be looking, as always, for a use after free situation in this particular code base and you're going to focus on some of the things that I gave of hints in terms of things like the table that is utilized in order to store references to C++ objects and stuff like that. So go ahead and see if you can find the flaw.